in this video I'll show you how to set up your brother MFC J10112DW or J1010DW with your iPhone or Android smartphone. So to do this it's very very easy first of all go on your smartphone and you're gonna download the brother mobile connect app. Do not download the Brother iPrint iScan and Scan. This is the old app and it will not work. It will simply ask you to download the newer one, which is called Mobile Connect. Okay, so once it's downloaded on your phone, you're gonna put this down and on the screen over here, first you're gonna press the settings button once. Then you'll see this menu appearing. Use the down arrow, press it a few times until you select network. Then you can press OK. Press OK once more to select WLAN Wi-Fi. And then we need to select the first option, which is Find Wi-Fi Network. Wait a few seconds. The printer will scan for every single Wi-Fi network in the area. And now using these arrows, you're going to select your Wi-Fi network, the one from your house or from your office. In my case, it's this one. Once it's selected in blue, press OK. And now it's time to type the password using these arrows and OK to select each character. Now, if you need to um, type some capital letters, you need to go down here, press OK, and everything will change to capital letters. If you do not see the characters or letters you want, uh, go over here on the right, lower right side and you'll have more options. By clicking again, you see you have different symbols. You can also use the number pads here. So once your Wi-Fi password is typed, you're gonna go down and select the green OK button here and press OK on the printer itself. Wait a few seconds, it will connect and you will get this message saying that the printer is now connected. Now it's time to take your smartphone. Make sure that it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. Open the Brother Mobile Connect app. And this is the main screen of the app. In my case, I already have another Brother printer, so this is why you get this screen. If not, you may have to press OK a few times on the screen just to uh, enter and have access to the screen. And now to add a new printer, you just need to tap right on the top here to add machine select the first option. Your printer will appear in this list, tap on it. If you have a new firmware available and you didn't install it on the machine itself, press complete. This page will open up and they're just trying to sell you stuff, so just go back in and your printer will be added right on the top. Press on it you'll have the status of how much ink you have left into in your ink cartridges. From this main screen, I'll show you how to print and also how to use the scanner. So to print, very easy, you have to select print document, document print or photo print. In my case, I want to print a document, so I'll select the first. From here, you'll need to select the document that is located on your iPhone or Android smartphone. So this is the document I want to print. Before pressing the uh, the green print button over there, I suggest you press the settings that is right above it because here you just need to confirm that everything is fine. So paper size, make sure it's the right size of paper, how many copies you want, two-sided if uh, let's say your document has multiple pages and you want to print on both sides of the page, color mono so you have color here and mono if you want to print in black and white only. And then you have quality. Normal is the medium settings. Eco mode is the lowest print quality and fine is the best print quality. And I suggest you use fine most of the time unless it's a document that is really not important to you if it's uh, printed nicely or not. And finally you have a select pages in case you have a long document and you want to print a specific page. Then press the back button. Make sure that your printer has some paper inserted over here in the paper tray. Take your finger and extend this small plastic piece because this is where everything will go. And press the green print button on your smartphone.
if you're printing uh, at fine quality, which is the highest quality this printer is able to print, it will take more time to print. If you choose the eco printing quality, which is the lowest, it will obviously come up much faster than what you're seeing right now. Here we go. So this is how our print came out very nicely, beautiful colors. And now let me show you how to scan your documents using the top scanner. Actually, this printer has two types of scanner and I'll show you how both of these are working. So let's say you're trying to scan one by one each pages. Well, you'll need to lift this top lid over here and this will be the scanner glass. This is great if you're scanning one or two pages and and not a whole document of 10 pages, let's say. Take the paper, place it facing down, and you'll notice that over there, there is, an, there is an arrow in this corner. It simply means that you need to bring this paper over there and the corner needs to touch the arrow. So bring corner to corner over there. The top part of your page should be on the left side, like here, you see? Okay, so once I brought it where the arrow is, I can close this lid and on the app, I'm going to select scan. Here it will give me a few settings that I need to adjust. So first of all, do I want the scan to be in color or black and white? The document size, in my case, it's a letter size paper and the resolution. Resolution here, it's selected at 300 dpi on the app and I think you should leave it there. If you're trying to scan some text, you can put it at 200 dpi, which, may, which will result that the scan will take less time to be completed, but it will have less details. I do not suggest you to choose 100 dpi. I don't think it's enough in general. So I'll go back here and then I'm going to press the scan button. So this is how it should look. If you have another page that you want to scan and attach to the same document, so it will be combined in one single file, go ahead, place the other sheets of paper on the other paper on the scanner glass and then press on add pages and it will scan the second one and you'll have all of them displayed over here. Once you're done, you're going to press the done button on the top right corner. From here, you can actually edit the scan if you're not happy with how it looks by clicking this small icon over there. You will be able to rotate it. You can actually also change the colors by selecting these different presets. Once you're done, press done. And finally, when you want to save it, press share, save. And then you'll be able to share it on social media or maybe save it on your phone or using the scan in a different app. Now, let me show you how to use the top scanner feeder. This top document feeder scanner can accommodate up to 20 different pages at the same time. Over here, I have five different pages. It will take a lot of time simply putting one by one on the scanner glass. So this is why I'll use this top scanner over here. So take your stack of paper and you're going to place it facing down with the top part of your uh, page of your document on the left side. So you see my document is this way. I'll simply turn it like this and then I'll have to glide it through these two. I don't know how to call them two tabs like that until you feel a resistance, then release the document. On the app, you're going to press the scan button. Make sure these settings are OK. And then press the green scan button. At this point, do not touch anything. I'll put my phone here and I'll let the printer do its job. It will take one by one each paper and it will scan it. Now, as you see, the pages start to falling over and this is why I forgot to mention, but there, there's this small plastic tab that you can uh, put so the pages are not falling on the ground every time they get scanned. Okay, once it is done, take your phone and you're going to see every single page over here. You can delete them by pressing the X button if, let's say, you notice that one of them should not be there. And you can even add more pages. So let's say your document was 40 pages. Well, you can put the 21st pages here, remove these and insert the rest of them. 
Once you're happy with the result, press the done button. And again, just like before, you'll be able to modify them. One thing I forgot to show you previously is if you press the settings button right above the share and save button, you'll be able to change the name of this file that is getting saved to change what kind of file it is. So in this case, it's JPEG by default, but you can select PDF. And I'm sure if you're scanning a long document, most people will prefer PDF. And finally, file size, just leave it to normal. Then go back and share and save. So this is it. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. Check the Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get some ink or some paper for your broader printer. This is a great way to support my channel since I get a very small commission every time you buy something through my links. If not, just like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.